In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can multiply a binomial by a trinomial using a method called boxes. The idea behind boxes is that we'll line up the terms on the left and top of a box, and then in each cell, we'll multiply the row and column headers to fill in the cell. We'll do this with the example 2x minus 5 times 4x squared minus 7x plus 3. To set this up for a box, we're going to need a longer box as we have more terms in the second polynomial. We'll put the 2x and the minus 5 down the side, and the 4x squared minus 7x plus 3 across the top. This splits our box into six cells. We can fill in each cell of the box by multiplying the column and row headers. This first cell in the top left, we have 4x squared times 2x, which is 8x cubed. In the top center, the headers are now negative 7x times 2x, which is negative 14x squared. In the top right, the headers are now positive 3 times the 2x, is 6x. Moving down to the second row, the first cell has negative 5 times 4x squared, which is negative 20x squared. The middle box has negative 5 times negative 7, which is positive 35x. Final cell has negative 5 times positive 3, which is negative 15. Now that we've filled in the boxes, we're ready to come up with our final polynomial by combining like terms, which usually will be diagonal from each other. Notice we have negative 20x squared and negative 14x squared diagonal, and the 6x and 35x diagonal from each other. Working across, we have 8x cubed. When we combine the x squareds, we get negative 34x squared, when we combine the x's, we get plus 41x, and finally a minus 15 at the end for our final product. When we're multiplying using boxes, we write the first polynomial on the left side, the second polynomial across the top, and then in each cell, we multiply the row and column headings. When combining like terms, we'll end up with our final solution.